Today I'm going to be replacing this standard duplex receptacle with this modern type A and C USB duplex receptacle. Let's jump right in. First step is to make sure that there's no power going through this receptacle. Remove the cover plate. This one's held in by two small flathead screws. Remove the receptacle from the outlet. The neutral wires are on the silver screw. There are two wires on this receptacle because one is feeding the other receptacles in this basement room. Remove the ground wire. Now we can remove the two hot wires that are attached to the gold screws on the duplex receptacle. I just wanted to point out a couple of things about this new USB receptacle. There are only two screws for the neutral and hot. The gold is going to be the hot. The silver is going to be the neutral. And these actually have a clamp that will clamp the wire down so you don't have to loop it. I am still gonna be looping the ground screw. On this side, I believe this is just for uh, ventilation so it doesn't overheat. And these lines right here are the length of bare wire that you need to insert into those screws. So I will be stripping the wire to this length right there. Both hot and neutral are the same length. Now, while I could hook both of these wires up to the receptacle, I'm not going to do that. I want to put these on a pigtail. That way, if the receptacle fails, it doesn't take out the other outlets on this line. Now to pigtail those, I will be using these push-in connectors. And the reason I'm using these is because there's not much room in this box with the size of how big this new receptacle is. I have an extra piece of 12-2 wire. Sure those are pushed all the way in. I'm going to do the same for the hot. I want to make sure that no copper is showing on the bottom and that the tips of this wire are all the way to the top. I'm going to bend the wires in a U when I push them back just because they won't fit if you just push it in there. I want to measure my wire depth. And the neutral is going to be the same length. I'm going to hook up the ground screw first. And this already has a little bit of a loop on it. I just want to loop that just a little more. I'm tightening and pulling at the same time. That will give us a good ground connection. Gold is going to be hot. It's also labeled on the back of the receptacle. I want it to fit in there without any copper sticking out.
and I'm holding this wire in place until it gets tight. Then I can torque down on it. Now, this is a metal box, so I do want to tape up these terminals. I don't want to wrap the tape around because this needs to ventilate air and this will overheat if I wrap the tape around. Another reason I'm taping this is because the ground wire is bare metal. It's not a green wire and it will just lessen the risk of this shorting out on the hot or neutral wire. Now I can go ahead and push this in. I'm gonna put the same kind of bend in. A little bit of a U-bend. Screw in the receptacle flush with the wall. Both of these are flush. Now we can go ahead and put our cover on. I like to do uh, the screws facing up, up and down. I'm a screw up type of guy. The screw's having a little problem going through because it's hitting the drywall. It's gonna give it a little poke. This ground wire. Now it should screw right in. Now I just need to turn the power back on to the receptacle. Now I don't have to worry about these charging boxes anymore. I've got both types that I need for current USB devices and I can charge phones, laptops, whatever it be on this new receptacle and I will be placing these throughout the home just to make it more convenient for myself and guests. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Dave, see you on the next one.